Welcome to Art Expression for Stress Release and Self-Reflection. My name is Kimberly Griffiths, and I'm a counselor and art therapist in Colorado Springs. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you will enjoy having an opportunity to get creative. This project we're going to do today is designed to help you release stress, relax, and have some fun. Super easy to do, should only take you about an hour to an hour and a half. And our project today will be collaging with tissue paper. So before we get started though, I'd like to take you on a short journey through a relaxation exercise just to help you to relax and come fully into the moment so that you can really participate in this exercise. So if you would please find a comfortable place to sit either on a chair or a couch and just get comfortable. That's a great place to start. So please make sure that your back is straight, that your arms and your legs are not crossed, and that you're able to breathe fully all the way into your lungs. Take a nice full breath and then release fully in your exhale. You might wanna close your eyes and just let yourself melt into your chair. And we'll start out taking three really deep breaths, filling your lungs completely and all the way into your belly and then releasing slowly and fully. In and out. One more time. Good. Now with your eyes closed, I'd like you to bring your attention up to the top of your head and just notice what it feels like to have your attention there. Now move your attention to your forehead and relax any tenseness, any tension that you might hold there or around your eyes. And now move your attention to your ears and your jaw. Make sure that your teeth are not touching and that you're fully relaxed around your neck and your shoulders. Now breathing naturally and using your breath as a guide, move from your shoulders down your arms, using your breath to release any tension or tightness all the way down into your hands and your fingers. And now bring your attention back up to your shoulders and focus on your shoulder blades. Pull your shoulders back and down with a nice full breath. Relax your entire back from the top down to the bottom of your spine. And now with another breath, bring your attention to your belly, to your hips and breathe all the way through your legs from the top to your knees, through your calves and shins, down your feet, into your toes. Now just breathe naturally. And if your mind starts to wander, that's fine. Just bring your attention back to your breathing. If it helps, you can even say the word silently in for breathing in and out for breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and relaxing with the exhale. Good. Now bring your attention back to just a natural flow Feel yourself comfortably seated in your chair and bring your attention back to the room. Now with another nice full breath, exhale and when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Great, welcome back. Okay, 
So the project today is collaging with tissue paper. And this is using tissue paper in a way that you might not have done before. What I like to use is for a surface is a piece of watercolor paper or a heavy construction paper. This is a sample of a piece that I started a little while ago. And it's on a nice heavy watercolor paper. But you can also use something simple like a poster board. This is just a 11 by 17 size that you can pick up at Walmart or any art supply store. And for this project, I would recommend folding it in half. So it's about this size. This way you can complete this project in about an hour to an hour and a half. Another option that you might do is, or use is a, just a regular piece of, of construction paper, or you could even use the back of a, a pad that is a heavier cardboard. That works just as well too. Just depends on what color you want to use for your background. You'll need a, a pencil to get started. And what I'd like to recommend is you just decide what it is that you'd like to create today. Perhaps it's a landscape. In this case, of course, it's a flower garden. And just lightly decide where you might be placing certain things. For instance, I'm going to do a landscape today. So I'm going to start out with maybe some rolling hills, maybe some mountains in the background. Very simple drawing without too much detail might have a stream running past. And that's really all I need to get started for my baseline. The tissue paper that I like to use is just a variety of color pack that you can pick up again at a dollar store or any grocery store will have typically various colors you can choose from. I like this one because it has a lot of different bright colors. Usually when I'm doing something with tissue paper, I like to layer them. You can see a color coming through the, the various sheets. So whatever you're drawn to in terms of color choices today are perfectly right for you. And in terms of the, the glue, sometimes I use Mod Podge. Is it so easy? It's already pre-mixed in about the, the um, mixture that I like in terms of of easeability. Sometimes I'll put some in a little plastic cup and I'll add a little bit of water to make it just a little bit more fluid. You really don't need much of this for this particular project because the tissue paper glues down really easily. You can also just use a plain white glue and make your own mixture. Basically, you just put a little bit in a plastic cup. That's probably plenty. I use just a couple drops of water. It's easy to put too much. So start out with just a little and then literally I just mix it up just to make it a little bit more thin and easier to use. I just use a, a plain painting brush, but one that I don't normally use again if I were going to use acrylic paint or watercolor. This one's pretty much reserved for just glue mixtures. You'll also want to keep a couple of paper towels handy. And I recommend that you cover your work, your place where you're going to do your art with paper or plastic. Newspaper is fine too. The glue can get everywhere though. So cover your workspace if you need to. So I'm going to choose to start with maybe the rolling hills part of my design. So I'll start using some yellow and literally I'm just going to tear pieces off. No particular size matters. And I'm just going to collage layers down on the paper using my glue mixture. I 
I like to, as I mentioned, put different shapes on top of each other. It creates kind of a nice shadow effect. And then I might even pull in a different color just to see what that looks like too. There's no wrong way to do this. It's really just experimenting as I go along. One of the things I like about this particular project is that it is so easy to do and it's impossible to be a perfectionist. <laughs> These are intended to help you let go of being perfect and just enjoy the moment. Oops. Okay. If it folds up a little, that's fine. Just keep on layering. I'm going to cover this green up and see what it looks like underneath. So you can see it creates some nice texture in there. And if I were going to start working on my mountains in the background, We'll bring in some blue tones. Oops. Problem is I get glue on my fingers <laughs> and it won't stay down without more glue. There we go. Pull in a little bit of some blue, darker blue, and maybe some purple. That could be really fun. Maybe this is a side of the mountain that has some shade. Again, you can see how layering over the top has kind of a nice shadow effect. I might bring some more green in here. Yeah, use this one. Might look like a little row of trees. But I'm not necessarily trying to make this look realistic. It's really just about playing with the colors. So as you can see, there's there are lots of different ways to approach this. And you just keep going. Sometimes it's fun to even use colors in, in surprising ways, like purple trees. <laughs> or maybe it's a red sky, so it's sunset. Use your imagination. And just go with what feels right. It's also okay to not even create something like a landscape or 
a flower garden. It could be completely and totally abstract, which is also really fun to do. Sometimes that's the best way to approach it with absolutely nothing in mind. Okay, so I think that probably gives you an idea of where you can go. There's plenty more to do, of course, but I started out with my landscape with just some simple shapes and colors. And this process can just be incredibly relaxing and just go with the flow with it. It's also fun to do this with other people or it's a nice activity to do by yourself as well because you can get really lost in just creating things with shapes and colors that you wouldn't normally think of. So I hope you've enjoyed this activity with me today and continue to finish your piece and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, so now that you've completed your project using tissue paper for your collage, I'd like you to reflect on the following question. What was this experience like for you as you used materials and a technique perhaps unfamiliar to you? Please take some time to reflect on that and write down your answer as thoroughly as you can. Thank you to Bemis School of Art and the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College for allowing us to spend this time together today. Thanks so much and we'll see you again.